Hey everybody, it's Matt from Rock U, back with another One Minute Masterclass. Today's Masterclass, recognizing intervals. Now an interval is just the space between any two notes, so that's an interval. You got two notes, there's a space between them. And you can easily think about this as a guitar fretboard. Each of those was another, what we call a half step up from the one before it. And each one is an interval from the beginning note, which in this case was the open E string, but you don't need to know that. You can also think of this as a piano keyboard. So if you start on any note and use all the keys, you're going up one half step with each new key and each from the starting key, every one is an interval. So sometimes when you're jamming or improvising or writing or listening to other people play, you might want to know what an interval is. And it's good to be able to recognize those by ear. What a lot of people do is they think of songs or pieces of music that have those intervals in them as a handy guide. So I'm going to show you the songs that I use to recognize the different intervals. You can pick your own, but let's start with our open E string. And again, you don't need to know what note it is because any two notes can make an interval, but we're going to start with E. And if you go one half step up, that's a minor second, one half step. So Jaws, that's easy. If you go two half steps up, that's a major second. That's happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay. If you go three frets or keys or half steps, now you've got a minor third. And I think of that as Seven Nation Army. Or if you play it up here. So that's a minor third. If you go four frets or four half steps or four piano keys up, now you got a major third. And for me, that's Oh When the Saints Come Marching In. Oh When the Saints Come Marching In. Okay. You go to five frets, now you have a fourth. This is a pretty common interval in music. A lot of melodies will have that interval. And you could think of uh, Here Comes the Bride or Harry Potter. Ba, ba, ba. You get the rest. Um, if you go to the sixth fret, now this is a weird one. That's called a tritone. And a tritone is a note so creepy or an interval so creepy that in medieval times you weren't allowed to play it. But I think of The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Okay. Uh, if you go to the seventh fret, you've got a perfect fifth. I bet you could think of already like a bunch of things, but for me, it's Star Wars. And how does Star Wars go? Okay. If you go to the eighth fret, and you got a minor sixth. There's not a whole lot of songs that have that. I use The Entertainer by Scott Joplin. And that's, I'm going to sing it instead of play it. But ba da 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 If you go to the ninth fret, you've got a major sixth. And a song that has that interval is My Way by Frank Sinatra, or by the Sex Pistols, if you like their version better. In life I've had a few, or whatever the, the lyrics are, I don't know the words. If you go to the tenth fret, you've got a minor seventh. A song that I like that has that interval is There's a Place for Us from West Side Story by Leonard Bernstein. There's a place for us. Now, if you go to the 11th fret, you're 11 half steps. You're almost an octave. 11 keys on a keyboard. 11 frets on a guitar. You've almost got back to E, but you're now on E flat or D sharp. And uh, a song that has that is uh, Take On Me by AHA. Take on me. Take on me. Okay. And now you're at an octave. So you're back to E and you start the whole process over again. A pretty popular song that has an octave is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere over. Okay, you don't need to hear me singing that song, but you get the idea. That's a way that I use to recognize different intervals. You might want to make your own list. Uh, that's it. Thanks. We'll see you next week for another One Minute Masterclass.